So that's it for the 2023 Rip Curl Penang Cup. Unfortunately, we didn't get it underway this year. <laughs>beautiful Penang Penang. Uh, today we have the official call for the Penang Cup presented by Samudra. It's a beautiful day on the Bukit Peninsula and uh, we're going to see if we're going to get things underway. Ooh. Barney. Yep. Just waiting uh, for Chong, uh, the contest director. Chong, where are you? Chongy, how's it looking, West Oz? Oh, bro, I just come from there. It's uh, it's flat down there, also, bro. Well, uh, that's the call. Oh, wait a sec. Where's the presenting sponsor? Where's Where's Barney? Oh, Dude, Benny, go back and get him. I forgot Benny. Go get him. Really, for real? Hundred oh. percent. Go get him. Yeah, yeah. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, Benny! Chongy, Pop Barney, how's the trip from Western Australia? It's flat and wet. Flat and wet. Okay guys, now that we're here at Padang Padang, what are the ideal conditions to have the Rip Curl Cup? The ideal conditions? Ooh, they'll just be super west swell, as, uh, as west as you can get, like 220 plus. And you want like a, you want like a neap tide, Benny. So the neap tide is where the tide doesn't push in or push out too much. So uh, that's what you want. And if you get one of those, it, see second big rock over there behind us. That's where the takeoff is out here. And then it peels all the way down through past the contest site right into that channel where the second bowl is. Where it's just like, man, everybody wants some of that second bowl. It's the most incredible, incredible tube section. So, our expectations are pretty high. We want 10 out of 10 Padang. And, you know, the, one of the best waves in the world. Um, however, we got some pretty good Padang Padang this year. We got probably seven, eight out of 10, and what a performance the women put on. That was amazing, Chum. You know what, that was actually quite surreal because there was the introduction of the women's officially, and uh, it was just pumping. But um, in saying that, yeah, I, I, I guess that was a flat seven out of 10. And it was a great warm up, but uh, there just there just wasn't enough uh, for us to go for the full contest run. So we thought, you know, what what better way to display the talent and the, and the invitationals uh, with that afternoon, which is super special. A hundred percent. Well, I think it was probably the best warm up session of any contest ever. Like to put a rashi on, have the line up to yourself at one of the best tube waves in the world. Um, but unfortunately, we're not on this year. Um, the Penang Penang Cup has a tradition, and if it's not pumping, we're not running. So Clay Marzo is still going to be the defending champ next year. We're going to have to wait one more year to see the women's action, but that's why it's such a special event, Chung. Well, you know what they say, Benny, it's on when it's on, right? Yeah, it's on when it's on. There you go. So that's it for the 2023 Rip Curl Penang Cup. Unfortunately, we didn't get it underway this year. We had some amazing highlights. So until next year, we'll see you right here for the 2024 Rip Curl Penang Cup. It's on when it's on. <laughs> <laughs> it's on when it's on.